Okay, you want to be cozy and comfortable when you're doing a choice hunt. Okay, you want to be cozy and comfortable when you're doing a choice hunt. Okay. How do I feel? I feel, oh, I feel sore. I feel tired. How do I feel? <coughs> you feel thirsty. I need some water. How do I feel? My mouth is dry. How do I feel? My throat feels itchy. How do I feel? A choice hunt. Okay, let's see. I'm, I don't know, five, four. I'm in Milford. I'm in my little, I'm at our little house with a yard and I'm in my little white kitten outfit for Halloween. And I have these little plastic eggs. And my mom's there and my dad's there. And it's fall, it's October, so it's cold out. So the air smells crisp and there's leaves everywhere. Hmm. And I'm a little bit older and I'm in the yard and <laughs> my brother is in his diapers. He's eating dog poop. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm about, I don't know, same age, four or five, and I'm at the playground. I love that little playground. With a friend just kicking the leaves and playing in the ground, playing in the leaves, just felt so freeing up by the high school. Hmm. And I don't know, I'm like five or six and I don't really remember, but my dad Got mad and angry, was screaming and yelling and throwing stuff and drinking and threw the counter, threw the counter over. Mm hmm. Just smashed the counter. I'm like a little bit older, I don't know, 10 or something. I'm in the dance studio. I'm in the dance studio in Milford, the Leland Studio of Dance. I'm warming up. And there's the hardwood floors. And I love dancing. And I'm just looking at myself in the mirror and I'm just warming up. I loved, loved, loved dancing. And I was there early. I used to show up early so I could warm up before the warm ups. That's all I ever wanted to do was, was to dance, that's all. And we're in the, we're in the downstairs studio doing ballet and we're in point. And the Russian ballet teacher is making us hold our legs up really high and I was really flexible. I loved, I loved dancing. Now I'm a little bit older, I don't know, 15, 16. And I was bad. I was bad. I'm at a party and everybody's drinking and smoking weed. And just, I didn't even like weed. I just did it because that's what everybody was doing. I like drinking though, I used to drink a lot. I used to drink like 40s and then pass out. It was really bad. Like, I was really bad. I used to get really drunk in high school. And just pass out wherever. It was really, really 
bad. And um, I'm like in this hotel room with a bunch of like drug dealers or just doing Molly. We're doing Molly all night, MDMA, just dancing. Popping Molly and dancing. I was up all night and I had dance rehearsals the next day. And I was so messed up. And I went straight to dance rehearsal. <laughs> On no sleep. <sighs> It was so bad. It was so bad. And I'm just like doing so bad in dance class because I'm like, it, it was so bad. Because I met some people through a friend at dance class. I met some people through a friend at dance class who were drug dealers. And we thought it was like really cool. And we used to go to raves in like New Haven and it was fun, I used to stay up all night dancing, doing Molly. <laughs> it was stupid, drugs are bad people, okay? Ruined my life. I'm like 17 or 18 and I'm on, I'm on stage dancing and it's like the final, 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 final of high school. And it's a flash dance. I had the best training. It could have been something. It was just flash dance and I loved flash dance. I loved that. I loved that song. I loved the loved to love dancing and I just got so messed up. It was I started hanging out with the wrong crowd and I just got so messed up. I loved it. I loved it. Love dancing. I wish I didn't hang out with the wrong crowd and drink and do drugs. I love dancing. I'm like, um, I don't know, 17 or 18 and I went to my first audition, my first dance audition in New York City. In my green outfit. One audition I went to, one. <laughs> one. I had the best dance training, like, in the world. <laughs> and I went to one audition. I did really good. Just, you can't stop. You can't just go to one audition. I've done a million acting auditions. And I was like, I did really good. And I'm on the train after and I'm just like, got depressed. You just get depressed. If you don't book something, but you can't, you just gotta go to the next one. That's a problem. One audition. And then I'm, I'm, I'm like 20, now I'm like 20, 22, 23. Was I blonde? I have blonde hair? Or was I brunette still? I think it was a brunette still. I'm like 20, 23. And I came, decided to come to California. <laughs> I came to California. And I'm walking down Sunset. Sunset Boulevard, so happy and so excited. 
to be in Hollywood walking down sunset. I'm handing out resumes looking for jobs and I just felt so good to be in Hollywood and in the sun and walking down sunset it felt like magical. You know, I'm like 23, same age, and I'm on set. I'm on set just doing background for some show, but I'm dressed up all fancy in some cool outfit, taking pictures, and it just felt so amazing just to be here and be working in the industry and doing to what I've always wanted to do. And just, I didn't care that it was background. I was on set. I was doing it. It felt so fun to be young and living my dreams. I'm like... 24, 25, and I've lived in Hollywood for two years. And again, I started hanging out with the wrong crowd. I started doing drugs. I was clean for a long time. I got clean and sober for a long time since high school. And then I started doing drugs again. Fucked everything up. Oh, that's stupid. I'm so dumb. I ruined everything. And I'm like, I'm like 26. And I'm walking into New York City. And I'm walking into acting class for the first time. And it's in New York City in some old building. Like, in, I don't even know, in the west, near the west side, the low, near the uh, lower east side. Was it the Lower East Side or the West Side? It was by the West Side Highway. Lower West Side over there. 14, I don't know. Somewhere around there. By Chelsea Piers, not too far from there. And Jason Bennett was teaching. He was a student of Eric's. And I loved it. I loved being in acting class. I loved it. Loved it. I loved it. It was like, it was like dancing all over again for me. I love New York City. I just love New York City. I love that place. And then I'm like, um, um, how old was I when I moved here? 30 something, 35. How old am I now? Wow. No, it must have been like 36, 38. Wow, 30 something. I don't know. I'm back in California. I'm in Eric Morris's acting class now. <laughs> I did it. I made it back to Hollywood. And I'm in Eric Morris' class because I made it back. I made it back. And I'm standing in Eric's class. And he's right there and he's finally. And he's like 80. <laughs> and he's still teaching. And I got to be, I get to be in his class. I get to, I get to learn from. I get to be in his class, and he, he's, 
just love, loved it. <laughs> Being in that class. <laughs> <laughs> okay, y'all. 15 minutes of a choice hunt, and I'm bawling my eyes out. Can you tell? <laughs> uh, vulnerability, anybody? <laughs> anybody need someone who can cry on cue? <laughs> there you go. I just. And Mona. Mona's emotional. Mona has um, a crying scene, so that's really good, but. That's, you know, you don't have to cry when you're doing your choice hunt. Your choice hunt is you start at a young age. I'm this age. You saw what I did. You don't have to cry. It's just a choice hunt so you can discover different choices and how those different choices make you feel. Mine just happened to be really depressing, all of them. So there were some happy moments in there. But obviously I'm crying. So, like, now that I know, like, what I have to do for the crying scene to like make myself cry. But also it's harder when you're, um, when you're on set and the cameras are rolling and you need to be able to step out there and start crying. Like, so you have to do this in preparation before you even step out there. And then like what works for me is if I'm crying on cue is if I put something, like I put something somewhere that makes me cry, like someone that I love or loved or an object. Like if I put an object, like, you know, I could put like Eric's face over there, like the dance studio, my dance teacher, you know, put something. I used to do this in Jason's class. We used to like for theater because you have to come in and you have to create the set. Like you have to create the whole set like for theater. You don't have to do that in film and TV. But I mean it helps to do that. I used to do that when I did theater, but I don't I don't do that for film and TV like you know. Um but you can you probably should. Um that's just like creating the whole space, you know. So yeah, there's my choice hunt. And now I could um, start working on Mona. Yes, yes.